Hi, I'm Polsky Gamer, and welcome to Jurassic World Evolution. Today I've built a park, and I would like to show you guys my park. It is not the best park. I've never really built a proper park. I've kind of just, you know, started building, got really sick of what I've made or don't like it, and just given up. But I've kind of gone a little experimental here, and I've, like, decided to try a few things and do some weird things, whatever, and... What have you, my favorite side uh, is the first side that I'll show you in the video, but you'll see where I kind of get experimental and kind of go off a bit when I get into the later part. So you come from here, obviously, this is where you get dropped off. We turn around, here is the monorail that you go on, and there's just a line of trees here. You, you, you don't want to get lost in those, that, that's just a terrible idea. Anyway, uh, from the monorail, you actually go this way, and along the monorail you go, you visit here. Now the idea of the park is that it is a hybrid park. This is on the secret Takano, Takano, sorry, uh, facility uh, from Dr. Wu's, where you did the hybrid stuff. And so the 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 premise of this is you've got your hybrids, all of them, in the game, and then you got the hybrids that are used to make these dinosaurs. Sorry, I said that the wrong way. You got the dinosaurs that are used to make the hybrids. So we've got both the hybrids and all of their dinosaur counterparts. Obviously, the Indominus Rex's dinosaurs aren't, aren't all in the game, such as the Therizinosaurus. That's not in the game, so I can include that, but there are the carnivores that are in the game that are also in the Indominus DNA. So uh, you got the Innovation Center here, and on your left, we have the hatchery. This is pretty simple. It's also got a one of these... Uh, gardens or whatever you want to call them it's got the hatchery it's just simple it's got you know feeders for all kinds uh and that's about it so there's nothing too special is the acu we go over here we'll ignore that first the enclosure and we'll just go around and check out the back so you got a nice lovely amount of trees just kind of making the area look nice You've got, you know, your restaurant and your bar, you've got the hotel, you've got another one of these gardens, kind of like a botanical garden type thing, so people, visitors can go in, have a look around, you know, and, and enjoy the the extinct paleo uh, plantage, you know, the foliage, and we got a few of these around the place, you know, obviously you don't need them in sandbox, but they're just here for the looks, and I flatten the entire world using the water technique so if you don't know what that is you start around a flat spot such as the where you come in where the visitors come in and then you just fill up the entire island of water and then get rid of water and it's quicker than using using the flatten tool, tool because the water just flattens it for you anyway and it's far quicker so i recommend if you want to flatten an island really quickly cover it in water and you'll push up you know you can use the flatten tool and uh, the smooth out tool and it just makes things easier so that's just a tip Anyway, I'll do a tips video set eventually, by the way, guys. So, like, I'll show, you know, cool uh, enclosures, how to make certain things. Doing that uh, that tip as well. Just anything. If you guys want to see that, leave a comment. Anyway, so, in this enclosure here, you have the Ankylodicus, and then it's, uh, you know, normal di dinosaur counterparts, the, the Plodicus, and the Ankylosaurus. We have a jungle pattern and a rainforest. I looked at the incorrect ones while saying that. That is the jungle. Uh, which, you know, is like the vivid one that we will never get because I'm on console. And then that's the uh, jungle. Not, oh my god, I'm such an idiot. This is the rainforest in Kyle's source. That's about it. We got the, I think that's the steep or step, uh, the Plodicus. I mean, did I say that right? No, the Plodicus is the normal one. <laughs> Sorry. And Colodicus. There you go. Uh, and then it's like mixed the Plodicus skins. I don't remember. But yeah, whatever. And then you have a couple shops here, an arcade, toy shop, fossil zone, just, you know, to make it look pretty and stuff, just give it some life. And then over on the other side, we have the Stegoceratops, which I think is also the step pattern. Um, it's just nice yellow one that I like. And then we have, you know, the obvious Stegosaurs and Triceratops, uh, both varying. That's the coastal Triceratops. We've got... I believe that is, what is that? Uh, I know one of these is Vivid. That would be Vivid here, uh, which was the community challenge skin for the Stegoceratops. Uh, sorry, <laughs> Stegosaurus. And then this one's like Rainforest or something. I believe so, Rainforest or Jungle. I don't know. I don't remember. 
So let's just get a really nice like overview of the joint. Uh, I had a problem here. I couldn't make it all around because the border of the the map. I don't, I'm actually pointing at it with my hand, like you guys can see that. <laughs> um, but yeah, the border of the island actually gave me a problem. If I had moved it just inches over that side, I would have actually fit it properly. But it's not something that bothers me. Um, also, there's no reason for the guests to go around that way, so you won't be seeing guests in uh, the pass like that. As you can see, there's no guests there. But if we go around where the stuff that they can visit, they go along those paths, and this area is the most filled. But there's a really filled area in this uh, map that I've made or park. So we get back on the monorail, and we get taken through to the other side. This is the next area where I was a bit more experimental. You come out here, you got a shelter just in case, some trees, some foliage, and yeah. So we got three of these here, and there's more enclosures to look at. We'll look at the right one here. And in here is the Spinosaurus. Beautiful. So we got the Spinosaurus and the Velociraptors in this enclosure. It's a very forested area with a bit of water for the Spinosaurus to enjoy his life or her life, whatever you want to say. And the Raptors are the Raptor Squad from Jurassic World. Here we have this one would be, uh, it's kind of hard to tell in this lighting. Is that Echo? I cannot tell. I think that's Echo. It's hard to see in the dark. Um. That's Charlie, uh, you got Blue here, and that's Delta, so the other one was Echo. Yeah, they're awesome. I really like these Raptor skins. I'm very excited for Return to Jurassic Park, though, because those Raptor skins are just a boss. Where's Echo again? I want to show her off a little. Uh, don't know where she's ran off to. Uh, is that her right here? No, that's Delta. Uh, Monorail just went over. That's Echo right there in front of me. Ah, uh, no sunlight, but you get the pick. Uh, you've got your viewing gallery here. You got a feeder in there as well. And that goes around that enclosure and back around. Um, you know, in this enclosure here, we have the Tyrannosaurus Rex and Majungasaurus. So this is the do with the Indominus DNA slash Indoraptor, since the Indoraptor is an Indominus, you know, hybrid. So it includes these guys anyway. So, Mungungasaurus is featured in the Indominus and Indoraptor's DNA, and, you know, obviously the Tyrannosaurus Rex is as well, and I've decided to put them together just because, well, I didn't really know what to do with my space or what I should do. And I think for nice enclosures type thing, I was kind of running out of space because this is a really small island. Um, yeah, so I don't want to look at that over there yet, but we'll look at this third in exhibit or enclosure. And we have Conotaurus and Giganotosaurus both featured in the Indominus and Indoraptor DNA. And they have a like more mediumly forested area. Whereas Tyrannosaurus and Jungle got the very sm not not so dense, very small forested area, and the Raptors and Spinosaurus have a very forested area. Uh, just to kind of represent their personalities in a way, or their type of behavior, if you know what I mean. You know what I mean, you know? Um, and then we'll look at this area and then the last three exhibits. So I got a bit experimental with the paths here and I'm like, I wanna do something interesting uh, and pleasant to look at. Cause I had this space, but I had no idea what to put in it. I'm like, oh, well, let's do this. Uh, let's fill up some trees just to make it look pretty when you're, you know, looking. I really couldn't think of what to put in here. Nothing fit, you know, perfectly or looked good in here. So I just filled it up with trees and I kind of did some sort of path design, and I've even done it like that, if you see what I mean with the, the path for the viewing thing to go in through. I kind of just let it merge, and it looks fine. I, I don't know if I want to fix that and make it look different, but I'm happy with that anyway. You got a hotel, and then you got the tree line that leads over to the other side and the entrance there. And then we got the three enclosures, so they all go into, you know, uh, the, the harder dinosaurs. So, first one up, you have the Spinal Raptor. Very nice. I forgot to mention that the Spinosaurus was in there for these guys, and same with the Raptors, but they're also in there for the Indominus and Indoraptor. Here are the Spinal Raptors. They have a kind of just, you know, watery area. And the reason that these have concrete fences compared to other ones is because they're hybrids. They're dangerous, you know what I mean? So, I wanted to convey that idea that these guys are not to mess with. You do not want to have this open fence with them because the Indoraptor, 
Indominus, Spinoraptors, or O-Raptors, they can be smart and they can do something, you know? That's the kind of idea I want to convey with these concrete enclosures for the hybrids. So, over here is the Indoraptor enclosure. We have one Indoraptor. I could make a pack out of it, but I think I'll just stick with the one for now. If I don't like it, I'll move it, but I don't really look at him. I just, just kind of got a forested area, just a nice, like, medium type forest, just a feel covered and you know what, what have you and then over the next one is the indominus rex got a bit of water water wow i am not american water you have a bit of water here sorry i'm a i'm not smart um and then in this area you have the indominus rex and where is she oh there she is hey babe how you doing are you turning green yeah she chills in here and uh she's got the most furthest away type enclosure and these paths do not connect. The way to get into this area is via this um, monorail station, which goes from the one there. Or you can walk around from over here onto the hotel pathing and then walk via it. And they don't, the paths don't wrap the enclosures, like, all the way. They do wrap them, just not all the way. Just enough that's necessary for people to get around. So this one wraps the most... Uh, whereas this path of here only wraps for this little bit. You know what I mean? Uh, and yeah, that's my uh, park. I don't know. I kind of I just felt like doing something uh, kind of creative in a way. Kind of just experimental. So if you guys like that, let me know. And if you got any tips for me that I could change or you do or whatever, let me know. This is my epic park build or something like that. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe for more. I would love to see you guys next time. Au revoir.